Uh -huh. Hi, what's your name? My name is Naisha. How old are you, Naisha? I'm 33. 33? Yes. Where are you from? Northeast. Northeast? Yes. Philly? Yes. Okay. Do you like the city? Sometimes. Sometimes I don't, but I mean, I was born here, so I got to respect the Philadelphia. Sure, sure. And, uh, how was your childhood coming up? Uh, my childhood was, uh, it was iffy. Uh, my mom was a drug addict, so I wasn't raised by my mom. Uh, didn't meet my dad until I was a teenager. And uh, he committed suicide when I was like 21, so I didn't really get the, that wasn't much time spent. Uh, my aunt raised me. She had me since I was born. Um, if it wasn't for my aunt, like, I, like, I thank God for her. Like, she raised me and she had an awesome, awesome, awesome childhood because I, I, I never wanted for nothing. Never? Like, I never went hungry. Like, never not had Christmas, never not had Easter, never not had, I never not had nothing. Like, I had everything because of her. So you got what you wanted. That's, that's yeah, nice. Yeah, like people say I was spoiled. So. Spoiled in a way. But yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad that was, you know, you had the luxury of having what you wanted, you know, coming up. I got a question, though. I was molested, though. Everybody, like, um, I guess, yeah, I can see that. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, I was molested by a friend of the family at 13. So. So when did you start using? Um, I started smoking weed when I met my two little kids' father, which I was 19. When I started smoking weed, uh, I was abused. He abused me the whole time I was with him. And so I wound up leaving him uh, when I found out I was pregnant with my daughter mm -hmm. after I had our son. And uh, I think around like maybe I was probably like 25 or something like that. Um, one of my childhood friends was murdered in front of me. And I started uh, to exam the coke. Uh, I abused, abused a lot. Uh, I tried to like, I guess, change so I went to like I went to rehabs different rehabs with my kids you know, like what what age did you go to your rehabs I started starting I started rehab at 25 24 25 that wasn't working uh, so around the age of, I, I think I was 26. I took my kids and I moved to Ohio. Born in Ohio with um, actually my kids side of the family. Because they wanted me, they wanted to help me. Um, not so much. Uh, I got over there and I picked up snort powder. And then, I guess I didn't want to develop a habit and, and be strung out out there with no, like, with nothing, no family and stuff, so I came back to Philly. And my aunt needed me. Uh, she wound up having, uh, uh, she, she, she wound up having, like, uh, medical, like, like, hips, like, her hips and stuff was given out on her. So, she was, like, losing mobility. Like I said, I, I, I love my aunt to death because she, she didn't have the reason, but she did. So I can't make her to help her. I can't make her to help her. She wound up breaking her hip. 
Probably like when I was around, like probably six months pregnant. <laughs> My baby father wrote to me that he was doing dope, and since I told him a lot of stuff, like everything about me, like uh, everything that I've ever done and stuff, and like it, it changes his opinion on me. And he stayed with me. Mm -hmm. That's what made me probably stick with him, and I leave. Him. But also try to help, but not try to enforce it. So, did uh, you stay with him? You had found out he was on dope? Yeah, he told me. And were you, did y'all start using together? Or? No. Um, my kids wind up getting taken from me. Mm -hmm. When... Um, I went to go, I think I was eight months pregnant. My kids got taken from me for truancy. Mm -hmm. So sorry. So. Mm. And I had my son, and since my two, my other kids was in placement, I can't bring him home either. Mm. So my baby father called his grandmother. I'm his mom, and she and my, she got my son. So none of, like, so none of my kids was in the that's good. They're not in him so much that you didn't fight for your kids when you was helping him with his addiction or trying to undo it I don't know back before the jail uh, trying to support support him trying to juggle a lot of things at once and I ain't even had myself together right right Understood. did you have a job or any you know any type of occupation yeah uh, I graduated school I'm a uh, I got a certificate and administrative medical assistant and medical assistant. I attended Paris for a year, uh, but I dropped out because I had no help. I was working two jobs and going to college and taking care of kids. Not saying that nobody can't do it, but I'll, I'll keep up. Um, I was in college for actually for um, I, have, I have credits, college credits for criminal justice and psychology. Mm. Uh, okay, smart. I uh, follow behind him so much that my kids wind up being legally adopted by their they grandmothers. I lost uh, all my rights to my children. You can still see them once you get back, you know? Did you kick this habit? I mean, it's nothing but it, 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 seeing them and actually knowing that you ain't right to be a children is, is, is different. Well, when when's the last time you seen your children? I may ask. A couple days ago on FaceTime. That's good. That's nice. I try to, I, I mess up like other people know. Like, it's time that I haven't contacted them. Not by, not because I didn't want to. But because I was just so busy out here. No phone. Avoiding people. No, you just gotta focus on the children. You gotta focus on the children. You gotta kick the addiction, go back to rehab. After that, you go back and get your kids' life, you know? You can do it. 
Yeah, I know. Right. I know. You just gotta want to do it. And actually, that's what actually that's what I'm actually doing now. It's funny that you said that because mm -hmm. I made so many changes and then and then put so much shit behind me and I and put in, actually putting me first, working right. on me because I can't take care of my kids if I if I if I'm not right. I can't take care of nobody. Are you out here with anybody? I was out here with my with my son's father. Your son's father. And um, how do you make it out here? How do you survive? Boosting. Boosting. I promised myself that I will not. Like, like I say, I don't knock nobody for anybody what they do or anything like that. But I promised myself that I was not selling myself for no drug. Right. So. That's not the right I'm way. Still to, from the stores. That's the right way to get by. <laughs> don't knock anybody's hustle, but that you ain't know. the right way to get by. That's just something I refuse to do. So what's the craziest and the scariest thing you've seen out here? About two years ago, um, I was stringed with Enrique. By somebody that tried to talk to me at the store and I denied him. Because I was with my, my, my kid's father, my son's father, and uh, he stalked me. Stalked you? Yes, he said. And then, um, but, um, he had jail for the rest of his life because I'm in Jordan. And, um, the detective that was working on my case made sure that he was going to find him and make sure that he was going to pay for what he did to me. Glad that man got caught. Glad and that he kept his word. Shit's crazy out here. Um, yeah. Would you say um, you became a, a product of your environment? Yeah. And it's not because of how I was raised or anything like that. Because I was a kid that couldn't leave off the bank set. Mm -hmm. I was a kid. I'm a kid that don't even know. I can't tell you nothing about a dollar party because I've never been to one. Mm -hmm. Never been to a dollar party. <laughs> like, I don't know nothing about a dollar party. I can't tell you nothing about any of it. Right. The first party I ever went, went to, I was 16 years old. Mm -hmm. Didn't enjoy it because my aunt called me so much and that was the last party I ever went to until right. I became a Yeah, it was strict. She was strict. Yeah, but it was different. For the good. Yeah. But like, what you had got out in the streets and, you know, what is it? Like, it's right there as you got older or? It was, I had, that's because I had kids, y'all. And I never, and I ain't. What's your what's your hobbies? What was your have hobbies? Um, and do you have any more hobbies? Yeah, I write okay. a lot. Poetry. I like poems a lot. Uh, I draw. You a drawer? Yeah, and I, I I wanted to open up a boutique at my door today. Okay, nice little boutique. And I'm supposed to be going back to school so I can uh, get my degree yeah. in criminal justice. Now, um, can't do that if you uh, get caught doing anything criminal activity, you know? Yeah. That's one thing I'm trying to stay away from. I, am, uh, I don't I have no, like, I don't have an arrest record. That's good. Like, I, I have Clean no record, criminal right? record. Any wishes? Let me hear three good three good wishes. For me and my life back. Life back. Like when was it when 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 would you say 
You want money back? Your kids? Like back when you had your kids? When I had my kids. You no. Know, I mean, I don't got no other wishes but just that and my kids. Yeah. What's your favorite color? Red, uh, blue, and green. Red, blue, and green. And um, how do you intake the drug you of choice you like? Injection. Injection. Was the last time you've taken the drug? Earlier today. Earlier today. I'd like to thank you for the interview. You know, I'm gonna pray you kick this addiction. I'm gonna pray you get off these streets, get back to your children. Thank you. All right, all time media.